Good evening, it's Mike here from the Gadget Addicts again with uh, the tenth part of my, no, the eleventh part, in fact, of my Demon Souls playthrough on PS3. Now, we'll pick up with Blitz. It's all level forty. Now, we're going to be treading some grounds that I've already been through, which I didn't upload as a video, mostly because um, the hard disk I had connected to my game capture device had a little bit of a wobbler. Not, not sure why, but I lost the last video. So I lost me kind of running through the Tower of Latria 2, um, which is really annoying. I didn't finish the level. Um, to be honest, I kind of rage quit it because I died. So we're going to try it again. Uh, firstly, that's not enough arrows. I need some more arrows. Oh, I don't have any souls. I don't have any consumable souls. I need some arrows for this area. Yes, I have some souls. Because if I'm, if by some miracle I manage to actually get to the boss, um, which is the man eaters, I'm really, really not very good at them. Um, because they're, they're kind of like the, the gargoyles from Dark Souls, uh, in that there's two of them. They're both very powerful, which I suppose isn't a thing from the. Um, isn't really an issue from the Gargoyles and Demon Soul, uh, Dark Souls, but they're very powerful and once you've got one of them down to um, about a third of his health, maybe 10% of his health or something like that, the second one appears and cheesy, but you're on a very narrow walkway, very high in the air. Um, so I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna cheese, I'm gonna cheese it, uh, and I'm going to kill one of the uh, man-eaters from the boss fog. But to do that, I need arrows. Lots of arrows. Buy items. You come back alive! I need your business. Yes, you need my business. Hello, I'm keep... Alright, deposit items. Some items. So I've got flamberge I picked up where when I was there. Don't need the blessed mace. Right. You have a heart of gold. Don't let them take it from you. In fact, actually, can I upgrade this? It's in trade with yours. Can't upgrade anything yet. I don't have anything for that. No, and I can tell you're not gonna. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just bought a fucking 500 arrows from you. You know what? I'll, I'll chance it. I'll see what I can do. The advantage of me having to go back here is this is a really, really cool looking level. It's, it's possibly my favourite level in the game. It's one of the harder levels in the game because there's so much you've got to watch out for. But the look and feel of it is just phenomenal. So if you remember to get to, to get to here, we were pulled up by the um, the stone gargoyle, the stone gargoyles, stone demons, whatever they were called. Uh, we better put the grass back on. I like to have three kind of grasses just in case I'm going to run out. Okay, so as you can see, this kind of a, it's a very elevated level, lots of narrow walkways. That is where we're aiming for. Now, when you go through the first time, uh, which tower is it? There. That tower? I'm, to, I'm, just, sorry, I'm just trying to work out, trace where you go in this. Yeah, either way, there's, there's chains holding this giant demon heart, you can see the heart there. Um, now the first time I came through here, went up and you break one of the chains by killing some guys who worship it. I've, so I've already done that, so there won't be anything there, but I'll point it out when I get there. Oh man, this level is so cool. So, I mean, it can be a bit confusing to work your way around here. All you've really got to do is look out for the torches. The first enemy you encounter, you can 
kill. Uh, just do this. Get him. There we go. Now these gargoyle things, um, they drop a lot of these unknown soldiers' souls. The law theory of it goes that they um, are the old monk who is kind of like the overall boss of this world. Like the, uh, the archdeacon. He's experimenting on soldiers and creates these things. to the fact that you get lots of unknown souls of souls from so this is actually you don't get a lot of a lot of actual currency souls for the unknown soldier soul but you can get a lot of them from here now if you go down that way which is where i've already been to get the treasure um, there is a little bit that drops down however once you've got rid of the heart you can actually get into the room underneath and there's a lot of treasure in there including the ring the uh, ring of avarice 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 the one that the um, the woman, the merchant in Terra Latria 1 sells 50,000 souls. Really handy ring. If I remember right, I believe it's the one where you you get most souls for every kill. So again, great if you're farming. suck if you don't know their, their methods. I believe there should be another one around about here. Huh? Get off this. Stupid havoc physics. There he is. crossbow guy as well. We all know what we feel of crossbow guys. Because he's going to fly away any second now. Arrows in this level are... You need some kind of range attack for these guys. I mean, they're not that hard to fight on the ground. The problem is, though, because they can fly, it's very easy to fear, especially if you're locked onto them, just to get really confused and end up um, falling off. Oh, you're a lot sooner than I thought you were. Nearly every one of these drops that unknown soldier soul. Around the corner there is just fresh spice. Every time I try and get it to fall off, so I'm not even gonna bother risking it. And there is a couple of them kicking around here. This is a really shit place to have to fight something. There we go. Ooh, two. Oh, this is a bit of it. Ooh. Have I still got my regenerator right now? Yes, I do. That was a touch of a tight spot. Now, when you're running up here, be very careful. 
very careful because that lift is sometimes not there obviously because it goes up and down very easy to fall off because you could be on spot um, if you carry on further after lift again something I've already done uh, there is a stone of ephemeral eyes so yeah so up here is there were a load of kind of I don't know what you want to call them, soulless or dreglings or whatever. Kicking about. All they were doing was kind of praying, worshiping, offering souls to this thing, which had a fire in it. Now, when you get here, you kill all of them, and it breaks the first chain, which drops the heart down a, a notch. Now, you need to break two chains to get rid of the, uh, to get the heart out of the way to get access to the boss room. God, I love this area. So yeah, so that was. Uh, that was kind of the main event that I managed to do in this area. The second event that I managed to do was just down here. Again, obviously it won't trigger because I've already done it. So you drop down to here. Take a little fall damage. And in front of these orgies, there's a chain there. There was a cage, similar to that one, but it was locked. And it had Yurt, the Silent Chief, who is a assassin. He's also a liar. Um, and basically what happens is, well, the message? Attack. Yeah. You have to kill him. If you, if you let, let him go, he'll appear back in the Nexus, and you'll start finding bodies. Now, it'll start with just soldiers, you know, they won't matter. But eventually you'll start killing non-player characters. Uh, God knows why. Something to do with Mephistopheles. Mephistopheles? Me Mephistopheles, rather. Um, who I'm yet to actually encounter in the game, but I will find at some point just to show you it. Uh, but yeah, so you have to kill him. He's a bit of a hard hard fight. However, the area you're in, you just beat him back, beat him back, and I think I knocked him off there. So I should find his body at the bottom of this. We'll go to... Okay, the one part of the level I really don't like. Which is the little swamp. And it was down here that I, <laughs> I died for about the 15th time in the video. Because I tried to do Shrine of Storms 2 again. Um... Got my ass well and truly kicked. So I died here and I just completely rage quitted. But then when I went, I was going to upload the video. Don't get me wrong, I don't like kind of. It's not that I don't like failing, it's, not, it's I don't like skipping something. So I did want to actually upload it. Oh. Oh god, these guys are stronger than I remember. It's happened a couple of times and you cut off the tail. You need to cut off the head. Yeah, these are some of the most annoying enemies in the game. Oh. Baby ones more so. Because you can't can't you can't, can't hit them. Yeah, so it's just past this point that I died. Uh, there's an item over there, I believe it's a Stone of Ephemeral Eyes, which I picked up. Ooh, there's my body. Okay, so I got some souls back. Oh, I'm going to try and hit them if I actually do hit them. Right. I'll take my time here, because it was just up here where I died. Well, you can see where my blood stain was. Basically, I got ganked by a couple of them and they just broke my guard. Beware the horde. Yes. So what I need to do is kind of separate them. some damage. I pulled one of them. They also have a vomit attack, which is really irritating because it damages your weapon. Kind of like a corrosive vomit. I hit you. Oh, 
one for me. So they actually become a little bit more dangerous when you cut off the tail. Just two really, yeah. just three really count as a horde. See that tail swipe. There's that bomb attack that you want to avoid. Oh, what's he got? Shard of Mercury still. Okay. Right, through here is the reason why this bit of the level just completely sucks. Because there is a mind flare. It's a black phantom mind flare. And he does a lot of damage. That's it. I'm going to drop the thief's ring for now. Oh, sorry, I'm going to put the thief's ring on. Let's see if I can sneak up on him. I mean, the tactics are, are identical to the normal mind flares that you find in the prison, he's just stronger. However, he can't heal himself. So the prevailing tactic I find is to use the thief's ring, attack him, run away, and attack again. It's cheap as fuck, but it works. I wish I could summon somebody to help me here. This thing doesn't hurt you, it just gets in your way. I don't think they'll do a lot to them. Oh, very dark. He's one of two. There's one right before the boss room as well. Come on, Chuckles, where are you? We're back against this horrible fucking caterpillar bastard centipede things. Good place to farm mercury stone if you have to create a poison weapon. Two handing is the best way to deal with the little ones. Just because no, like, that swipe will miss it. So when you, if you're one handing your weapon you'll only kind of catch them on the back swipe. Come on. Ooh. I was 
a randomly hacker of these guys is a very good way to get you in stuff into trouble if there's a few of them around. Fair space. Take them. What do we got? Old spice. Hmm. Everything everything the budding magic user needs. Alright. Alright, you can see the wings there. This is a nice little ambush. Because one of the ones over there will attack you. I think it's that one. Yeah, you can see the eyes are glowing. So we want to get him out of the way first. I'm far enough away that he shouldn't fly up and attack me. I've known to be wrong in the, to be wrong in the past. Come on. Detail of this fantastic. I don't know if I've got the range to hit that one. Yeah, their logic isn't particularly smart. Well, the arrows do hurt a bit. Right. Now, this is where it gets a little fuzzy, because I've only ever done this a little bit once, because... So just so. Right. Can't remember if there are any enemies around here. Honestly, can't. So we'll ride this to the top and we'll see what happens. There we go. find myself in a tight spot again. He's probably going to follow me up here, but I much prefer to fight him up here than down there. Because the columns make it very hard to see anything. Right, okay, well while he's deciding whether he wants to come up and actually fight me, this is what I was talking about before. See these guys, they're praying, they're off in the souls, whatever, and it's creating this fire. So we just go and kill these idiots. We obviously put up no fight whatsoever. And trigger the cutscene.
Oh, more of these fuckers over there. Hey, -o. At least it'll lead to some cool items. Or a lotus. Hi. I don't know if there's any gargoyles down here. I'm sure we'll shall find out. Behind you. Ah, well, this brings you back to the beginning of the level. So now we want to carry on. Now we're going to get those secrets. There should be a man's centipede around here somewhere. So we'll get those secrets and then we'll move up to the boss room. And I'll take my first attempt at the man eaters. Although, like I say, I'm going to cheese it and kill one of them before I actually walk into the room. Got him before he vomited. So you can see there's a little pathway down there. So we're going to go down, we're going to kill the rest of the man centipedes that are in there. And we'll get some items. The pathway was blocked, and the maze actually not to get up there. There should be a gargoyle down here, if I remember rightly. Oh, is it a man's? Oh, it's both. Ooh, nice fell off. See, you've got to take your time with these things. Because when they fly away from you, it's very easy to fall off. Another one on soldier's soul, so you'll be able to level up a bit at the end of this. Spot there. Oh shit. Really tight spot there. And I've got a gargoyle after me. Nearly embarrassing, that. This is Gargoyle. I need to remember when I go down there, you need to put the thief's ring on because you can you pull two at once at a pincer movement. Now, where's that other Gargoyle? I can hear him. Plenty of them in here, so it's worth just taking them on and leaving the items for afterwards. Oh, we'll 
into this storage house. which I'll use in a minute, store research, so... Okay, right, so now we can go and head up for the bus. Twinkly stuff. As in, these are things that you can trade with uh, Sparkle the Crow. I have no idea where that crossbow goggle was, and I have no, I no intention to find out. So I'm going to go take on the second of the Mind Flayers. Which, to be perfect, I'm never 100% happy about doing, because they're arseholes. And it's another Black Phantom one, so he's a bit stronger. And he's in a really hard place to fight. So if you remember, we came up here in the first place. Oh, I forgot to show you actually in this level, in this playthrough rather. It was in the last video which got lost. If you carried on past where we fought, started fighting gargoyles, there was like a huge tendril or blood vessel around here. Is that an item? Straight ahead. Um, yeah, there was like a huge blood vessel or something that was stopping me getting access to this set of stairs. The man eaters are at the top of this. Oh shit. God, they track. Didn't realise that. Seems like I should be a bit careful. Right, screw it. I'm going to go the same tactic that I went on the last one. So I just need to work out how far down he comes and I'll chase him. I'll probably take a little bit of health off him, so. You never know, it might be worthwhile.
Actually, it only seems to have a bit, bit maybe 1500 more health than the normal ones. So it's not an immense amount stronger. I think it's more just the location that you fight them. It, you can only really roll into them. Then obviously you run the risk of getting caught by the um, the electric blast, which stun locks you, and then he goes in for the kill shot. Right, that's the man eaters to the left there. There is an item beyond, I believe. Right. Ah, here we go. Old spice, useless. <laughs> Actually, I'm going to try this fight with enchant weapon as well, so you never know, it might, might turn out to be useful. Right, okay. I'll edit this bit out so you don't have to watch me cheese it, but basically, you aim through. There you can see. Now, you don't want to use the lava bow if you happen to have it, because it's too strong and it'll push him out of range. So use bullet arrow. 23 damage. Now, he doesn't react, so. I will pick up with you once this guy's dead. And just like that, he's dead. Now, I'm going to take a gamble. I'm going to go back to you. Um, just so I've got the maximum amount of health possible. If I die, I'll lose tendency. But at the minute, I'm more interested in just getting through this fight. I don't want the thief's ring on because without the thief, if I have the thief ring on, um, there's a very very good chance he can just fly away and never come back to me. So like that. Enchant the weapon. I don't know if this is going to help me any, but nice. Where is he? There he is. Lock-on is generally not your friend in this fight. You have that sound blast thing that the, that the mind flayers have. How much damage have I done to him? Yeah. Just generally stay to the side to him, of him if you can. And if you are struggling, use this. Oh, okay. Oh, shit! How he is rather fond of doing that. Which is, I don't like at all. Basically, when he tries to do his rush attack, this pot in the middle will protect you. Avoid that, because that will knock you off your feet. In fact, to be fair, just avoid most of the things that this guy does. Keep yourself healed. If you need a breather, just equip the thief ring. And because when he flies up there, he'll just lose track of you and just fly about. Where is he? There he is.
come on. I think it, I'm nearly done, but I can't really see. <laughs> this is a really bad thing. I'm actually colorblind. So the, the black on red from the uh, health bar for the man here, I can't actually see. I know I've got him down quite a bit. I really can't see it. Which, to be fair, is a problem I've had with both the Souls games. Oh, he's got, yeah, he must be nearly there now. Wait until he lands, going for a couple of good swipes. It's a little skittish when he gets lower down in his health. Where are you going? There we go. Got you, you bastard. <laughs> the demon was destroyed. Boom, shellac, boom, boom. Okay. Before I go to Archstone, there is an item down here. Do I dare get it? Moon short sword. Oh, someone else is struggling a bit. Now I've done it. So I've done it too. Alright, so let's head back to the Nexus. So there's an item here as well, yeah. This one's going to be very close to trigger it. Oh, I don't like getting that one either. <laughs> right. Whew. Mixed Demon Soul. Touch the Archstone, touch the Nexus. Yes, there we go. Oh, that was tense. Oh, that that was a good one, that, actually. Oh, it feels good to win again. After having a couple of episodes where I've just died consistently. Right. Then soul of the okay. mind into life's ether. Soul of the lost withdrawn from its vessel. Um. Let strength be granted so the world might be mended. So the world might be mended. Knock endurance up, we'll knock vitality up. How thou dost mean thy. Right, okay, we'll call we'll call that a day. Um, so, actually, if we go back up to the arch stone and have a look. The man eater arch stone, masses of flesh litter these hanging prisons. Latria's current master, an old man who is no longer human, has been creating his own demons. Now this is a really interesting boss fight when we get to it, um, whereas the others are kind of puzzles that you have to work your way around. This one has two forms. If you're online, there's a kind of 60-40 chance that you'll end up with another player as the old monk, um, which basically has the, the other player's um, kind of body and weapons, and also kind of spams you with so, um, homing soul arrows. Uh, if you're offline, you just get a bug standard AI boss. Um, so I might try him on the next episode. Um, so I'll tell you what, we'll uh, stockpile with Thomas. I'm keeping a close. Got some mercury stones. We get uh, the moon short sword. Straight swords are the most standard versatile weapons. In addition to its stable standard attack type against most targets, it also has powerful thrusting attack. Don't want that. Not interested. EP rapier. Ceremonial rapier with intricate golden designs. It's a weapon favoured by those of a mass society who meet in secret to discuss the harnessing of souls. It is imbued with a strong magical flame, which is one reason why these vicious people are so feared. Things going on in Latria. Shit's going down, boy. Right, I don't know why I said that. Gold mask, mostly the same. And we have two gash resistance. Grave Robber's Ring. Alright. 
Ring of Avarice. A, gold, a luxurious gold ring fitted with a large jewel. It allows wearer to obtain more souls when slaying enemies. It was once a symbol of wealth and debauchery. Haha, <laughs> debauchery. You have a heart of gold. Don't let them take it from you. Right, okay, I'm going to call it a night there. I'm going to quit while I'm ahead. So, uh, as usual, thank you for watching. If you're liking my videos uh, and enjoying what I've got to say, please, please, please do subscribe. Now, I think this episode will be going out... Well, it'll end up being uploaded Christmas Eve, so if I don't upload another video, have a Merry Christmas, everybody. Um, there'll be more videos before the New Year, but have a great Christmas, no matter where you are, who you are, what you're doing. I love Christmas. Thank you, and good night.